Hello, it's Thursday, April 20th, 2017. I'm Paul Kaiser, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my skate setup. Here I have the Seba FRX80 skate. This is my first skate, and it fits my wide foot fairly nicely, a lot nicer than most other brands I've come across, so that's cool. This has a hard boot. Um, I've beat mine up pretty badly smashing around town into concrete, falling down, jumping around things. Helps protect the, the liner and definitely your feet. So that's been a good thing for me. It provides a lot of support and yeah, protection. Uh, there is on the outside, uh, you can take this off after you beat it up and, and add another one. The funny thing is I haven't really beat up the outside much. I beat up the inside more. Whatever, that's fine. It's a fully laced setup from toe all the way up to your ankle. Uh, it came with these white thick laces which are okay but they as I, you tighten them in the eyelets to try to get a perfect fit those laces kind of slide back out so what I've done is bought waxed hockey laces. These give you a lot more control as you're lacing up you know all this way to get the good fit. As you tighten it the wax kind of takes hold a little bit in the eyelet and keeps it from sliding back out. You can get different colors, so you can do whatever kind of stylistic thing you want to go for with your skate. Definitely go wax laces. Then there's this strap right here. This is Velcro. It keeps your helps keep your heel back in the boot. Some skates have a ratchet set up. Uh, the Velcro has served me just fine. Uh, you just I, I did I broke the buckle the other night trying to cinch it up too tightly. It was just overkill. Get that heel back in the boot, then tighten it up reasonably, you'll be in good shape. There's the buckle at the top, the ratchet buckle, uh, to tighten around your ankle. You can tighten it up pretty good when you're new and you know you need that extra ankle support. And as your ankles get stronger and that, you can loosen it up. Uh, I loosen it up so I have a lot more uh, bend here in my ankle. I haven't had any problems with that. The liner is really comfortable. You can actually remove it. Some skates you can't. This one you can remove the liner if you want to to replace it or, or whatever. I haven't done that, but um, it's totally doable. Uh, what else? Okay, so the frame. This comes with the Seba 243 frame. I think that has to do with the length of it. And this is a flat frame setup, which means you can't do rock ring just based on how you um, set up the frame, um, but uh, but that's been that's been just fine. I'll tell you what I've done about that in a second here. Let's talk about the wheels. Uh, very important. So this come with the Seba Street Invader wheels. They're 80 millimeters in diameter, 84A durometer, which is a fancy word for how hard it is. That's kind of a soft wheel. Um, I like it. But I'm a little heavy. Uh, I'm a 185, so I tried a harder wheel, the Rollerblade Hydrogen. It's 85A. Uh, it really does make a big difference. That, that 84 to 85 is actually a pretty big difference. And I feel more in control with that hardness. So that was kind of a nice wheel I play with sometimes. The deal that another difference is the street invaders are very round the profile so when you are edging you it's not a drastic change when you get on an edge because that it's just it's very consistent the way the shape of that profile is um, so you know, depending on your type of skating you might like that uh, one thing i really liked about the hydrogens is they have a pointier profile so when you edge boy that thing is going to turn and so i just felt between the harder durometer and then the, the more drastic edges, wow, I just I felt a lot more control with that wheel. The problem is that I wanted to do a rocker setup. So Seba Street Invaders, you can get 76 millimeter diameter also. So what I did, these two blue ones are smaller. Uh, smaller wheels on the outside and 80 millimeter in the middle gives you kind of a rocker shape. It's more like an ice skate. So on one hand, it means you have less stability this way. 
because you don't have all four wheels on the ground at, at one time. Generally, you're going to have two wheels at most on the ground at one time. So less stability this way, but if you can control it, it gives you a lot more maneuverability. You can turn on a dime with these things because you're not fighting against all that rubber on the road. So when I first did a full rocker, I thought I was going to fall down. Here I was like, man, I'm such a good skater. Yeah, I thought I was going to fall down. But when I got used to it, um, yeah, I really like the way that uh, works out. I had to put all Sebas back on because Rollerblade doesn't have the smaller size for the ends. And when I tried putting the two Rollerblade hydrogens in the middle and the smaller Sebas on the outside, it was a funky setup. It did not work out well. I think it's because the difference in hardness and the difference in the profile. I think the mix just felt weird. So I went back to Street Invaders for now for this skate. So that's it for the skate. Let's talk about socks. Believe it or not, socks are a big deal. I bought these uh, Lorpen Coolmax liners that you use for hiking a lot of times. The, the point is you want to get when your feet sweat, you want don't want that sweat to sit there in your cotton socks and then it makes your foot moist and then that skin that's now kind of moist you're going to get blisters it's going to be a bad time the lorpen socks were great i can't find them i, I mean i put them in they're just black they went in the freaking washing machine and now i can't find them they're too expensive to lose all the time so i was at the department store and i got these wilson socks uh i don't know what they're made of nylon stuff i don't know but they're not cotton. They're not just cotton socks. And these things, I got a whole bunch of these, packs of them, and they're great. They, I've doubled them up sometimes. I usually don't need to do that. I don't know why they come in right and left. Whatever, I guess they're super fit or whatever. I love these socks. I've bought a ton of them. Get good socks so you don't screw up your feet. I'm almost done talking, I promise. I did buy, this is a Rollerblade branded backpack, but the thing about it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a cool backpack by itself, but this thingy right here, uh, shit. you can, I don't know if this is exactly right, but yeah, it is. You can stick the skate in there and then uh, strap around there. And so then you can wear the backpack holding your skates. Now these Seba skates are freaking heavy. I forgot to tell you about that. These are heavy skates, which is affecting my jumps and that I need some lighter skates. The wheels, the Seba Street Invader wheels are heavy too. But anyway, you can cart your skates around town. I was in San Francisco. That's why I bought this backpack and it was great. I was going up and down those stupid hills. And then when I got to the bottom, I'd take my skates out of the bag you know, whatever, get them on. I think that's it for my skate setup. Thanks for watching.